We need to get our dog walking to heel, nice and steady, okay? I'm ready to move on for the next part of the training, which we'll pick up with Penny, I think. Let's just put Bonnie away. You're still over there, Penny. Good girl, stay there. Hey, hey, I didn't tell you. No. Bonnie. It's all right, Penny, you're a little bit confused in here. Stay there, Bonnie. Just take her back. You see, you know, she just, I called her name and she thought, oh, I can't see, I didn't want her to come. Penny, stay there. Stay there. Good girl. Stay there. What I'm going to do now, and this is how we actually get them to hunt, and we use a word called halost. And Penny knows the word halost as being hunt there, you're going to find something. Okay, and this little exercise, done repetition, if you uh, repeat this over a period of weeks, so they learn this very, very quickly. What I'm going to do is just get this tennis ball and just drop that into that cover. Now I'm going to call Penny up to me. Stuart picked up that tennis ball without Penny seeing. So, Penny. Now I'm going to give her a command which she knows what this is. Last. Last. And now you'll see how persistent these little guys are uh, hunting. Now she won't know at this stage what halos means, but look at her tear that cover apart. And she does that with brambles as well, and she's quite happy to do it. Last. Now just, she didn't know what it means at the moment as a six, seven month old pup. Last. Last. Good girl. Good girl. Last. She's hunting away there. Now what I'm going to do is just going to, Stuart's going to drop that tennis ball without Penny knowing. Or, which sometimes work, works. Sometimes she sees him. She's faster and quicker than he is. So let's just see if we can catch it. He can do it today. Last. Last. Now I've just given her that command a last and she's just found that tennis ball. Doing this exercise repeatedly shows you how persistent they are with their hunting and she starts associating the word halas with hunting. And she's, if I say that word, she's going to find something there. Okay, sure. Go. The little cock has seen it down. Now she's not run after it because she's been trained to stay there and stop there nice and steady. We don't want the Labrador having that. I want my cocker to have that. Bonnie, Bonnie, come here. So I just walk by, stay there. I'll just sit Bonnie up. There's no big fuss again with this. There's no rust. It's dead. It's on the floor. We don't want our dogs running, chasing. Now I'll just give Mavis the command for that. Out. Just give her the command for that. Out. Now a lot of times these little spaniels wouldn't have seen their area that's dropped down purely because they're so small themselves and the cover's above them. Good girl. Fetch that here. Maeve, good girl, good girl. Mavis, good girl, good girl. And that's a bird in the bag. Sit up, good girl. Stay there, nice and steady. Now, in the meantime, there'll be a bird shot down over the other side there, which we dog hasn't seen down. So in its training, we've actually taught it, when we put our arm out and sent it, and it's, it's, she's gonna believe there's something out there for us oh, to, to retrieve. So all the training done right, our Labrador's gonna do this for us. Bird's been shot down, she hasn't seen it, so what I'm gonna do is just sit her up, Point her head in the right direction, give her a command, go back. And hopefully she'll go back in a straight line. Hasn't seen the bird down. Last. And take that up. Good girl. Well, that's it. That's our time run out, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, we are over on the static display if you want to talk to us. Or dash around to the main arena where we're going to be out there with birds of prey and showing how we train dogs and birds together. So if you get around there, we're going to be there as well. Uh, um, meanwhile, have a good day and thanks for watching us. See you all soon. Thanks very much. Let's come by. There we are. Most farmers can't make their dogs do that. Um, the farmers just tend to want them to go around and bring the sheep back. Now it's finding it hard to bring them back up. But keep them far into the field. That's the way to do it. And as you can see, Stephen's got himself a whistle. And at the start of the year, if anybody came to watch us at the start of the year, he never used the whistle once. It's taken him about three months to get the use of the whistle, even though I keep spitting it out now and again. <laughs> we'll be one side and you'll be other. You just get to walk forward and we'll see if it gets close slightly in. Because once you know how to go in, you'll realise it's a nice safe place to be. See? I've never actually been into this pen before, it's a nice white pen. There we are. Oh, safely in. Well done, Stephen.
The grass seems a little bit long for these ducks. We'll see. This afternoon after the horse has been round again. The grass will be a bit flatter for them. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. Lay down. Come by. Lay down. Lay down. Start training these dogs at home during the winter time. In, in October time, we start with the nursery trials for the young dogs. Come by, come by. Pay attention, lie down. In the winter time, we have a go with the young dog, give them experience of different fields. We'll see if we can finish the display by popping these ducks into the pen. These ducks have been in the pen before, so I'll make the entrance a bit smaller. Lie down, come by, come by, come by, come by, come by, come by. Lie down, wait, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Lie down, come by, come by, come by, come by, come by, come by. Lie down, lie down. Away, lie down. Lie down, lie down. Just one more to go on this side. There we are. Come by, come by. Lie down there, good boy. That'll look you. Come by, come by, come by. Lie down there, lie down, lie down. Good boy, Chip. Lie down there, lie down there. Finds it hard to just sit there. If anybody is seriously interested about training a border collie, would like to have a go with one, then uh, I actually do training courses at home on the farm. I don't live too far, far away, just up the road in near Lancaster.